Kevin, and thank you so much for being a part of the Teddy Jury this year. Thank you. Can you start by just giving a brief introdu introduction to the work that you do? Okay, um, my name is Kevin Mochiro, I'm from Kenya. I'm a jury member at the Teddy's um, 2019. Um, I'm a writer, broadcaster, storyteller, love of um, world film, and um, yeah, that's, um, and here at the Teddy's. Okay. Yeah, and I'm based in Kenya. And in Kenya recently there's been quite a lot of controversy over um, censorship of queer content in film. So Rafiki was uh, banned, I think, for a while. I wondered if you could explain a little bit about that, that sort of political context uh, and how that maybe affects the queer film festival that you curate. Um, Rafiki is still banned, but it was, it was, we were given a reprieve for seven days. And um, during that time, um, people were able to see the work that Wanuri, Kanuri, uh, Wanuri Kahio and her team um, had created. And um, that was really interesting for us, um, for us as a movement, I'm an activist as well, and for the community in, in that it was, we were able to tell a very Kenyan story. It was also very, real. As much as it was banded, but just that seven days was, I think, a beautiful seven days where people were talking about being queer mm. in Kenya. You know, people were, people were taking time off to watch a seven o'clock screening in the morning. I remember friends of mine, the first Sunday that it was being screened, where they had, the cinema hall was full at 10 o'clock in the morning, you know? That just showed that there is an appetite for, for, for local content. There was an appetite for queer film. And, 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 and I think there's so much, people had already seen that there's a lot of global publicity that Wanuri and, the, and her team were getting. And they just wanted to find out what it was all about. And the fact that it had been banned just made it a lot more interesting for people. What that has done for us is just to show people, for, for filmmakers in Kenya, I would say, is that you, there are stories, there are Kenyan stories that need to be told and this is one aspect of the Kenyan story that needs to be told. I love the fact that Rafiki was about two women, which was almost a, a sticking a finger up to the patriarchy because women's sexuality is not really considered, you know, and I remember that for me was also some, that was also phenomenal, that you had the, 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 the lead characters in Rafiki were women the director was a woman yeah. and that spoke volumes not just for the queer film industry i don't if there, there i don't think there's much i think it's upcoming but for anyone who wants to develop an, an indus, um, a career as a queer person in film um, the power of rafiki was able to show that and there was also stories of our lives which had been re released a few years before and, and and had also been banned in kenya it got people talking and, and, and saying, you know, this, the, the censorship of the arts isn't great. It isn't just great for queer film, isn't um, great for free, but freedom of expression, isn't great for arts and culture. And um, we, I mean, during the film festival that was curated last year, I wasn't involved last year, um, people were really hoping that it would have been screened at the film festival for those who didn't get to watch it. But we had to adhere to the ball. But I think it also showed people there is a place for queer cinema in Kenya. And that place is now proudly there to stay. Yeah. And I wondered how your background will influence or inform your decision making on the Teddy Jury. My back, sorry? How your background will influence your decision making on the Teddy Jury. <laughs> um, I'll admit this is my first time I'm being a jury member. Um, Sometimes when I watch films, I, I'm thinking, can this be shown in Kenya? How would this be received in Kenya? And what we do with a film festival in, in Nairobi is after, the, after a, a, an evening of screenings, we have panel discussions. Um, last year, there were a lot of, um, there was a discussion that centered on trans issues, you know, feminism came up. And sometimes we try and curate films, that, um, the organizers try curate films that around that are thematic you know, um, last year's theme was we don't have, was it, um, ah, I've gone through, I just had a, a, a sorry, sorry I, ah, I need to know, we don't have, yeah, the last year's theme was we don't have the luxury of shame, mm. 
you know, and that was that was that was key in the programming, and and uh, and and that and we took that on in our daily lives. We don't have the luxury of shame. While being here in Berlin, I'm I'm constantly thinking how can can I can these movies be screened back in Kenya? It's interesting to see that sometimes the themes or the the themes of the movies being screened are come from a different space, obviously, a different discussion that is a lot more advanced. Um, than it is from from than, than my part of the world, but for me is does it represent us? Mm. Do, do I feel represented as a person living as a gay person as a queer person living in Kenya? Are these my issues? Am I being represented? Does it honor my identity? Does it honor my culture? Does it honor my my sexuality? Um, does it respect the individuals and is it told in a way that is respectful to the people within this film, within this culture that is being represented? Is it, does it leave me different? Does it, it, um, there are movies that have real, that had difficult topics that I wasn't, that I wasn't quite happy with personally, but need, need to be shown because it is part of being queer, mm. you know? And I applaud the filmmakers who are tackling topics which make me uncomfortable but will force me to think and it's not just about me it is about people out there who figure that relates to me even if it's one person and i hope that we will be able to come up with a film that a good number of people will say that is respectful that that gives me with the dignity and the, and the pride of being someone who's queer Thank you so much for talking to us today and Thank good luck with your decision making tomorrow. Thank you for having me.